Okay, well, in my uh, quest to learn how to build a crystal battery, I built a cement battery. And I'm studying John Bedini's uh, thread at the Energetic Forum called the Bedini Earth Light. And he's trying to show us how to make real crystal batteries that are not galvanic. They're uh, a different mechanism besides galvanic batteries. But in my stepping stone to get there, I built one of these uh, cement batteries. And it uses uh, Portland cement and a mixture of uh, beach sand is what I put in there to dope the uh, mixture. And uh, it's an aluminum can uh, with a copper wire that runs down the aluminum can and insulated from the bottom of the can. The can is clear coated and I scratched the clear coating up in here to make a connection point with the... Uh, electrolyte basically uh, which is what the concrete is on this one I believe this is a galvanic battery is all we got here until the moisture goes away and that can take up to three months I'm learning before that all goes down to where you'd have a crystal battery where there's no moisture acting on it and I imagine I'm going to see this corrode away here um, but right now it's putting out about a volt and a quarter and it's running this pulse motor uh, lickety split and you probably can't even see that LED blinking, but uh, I've got a back spike going off on the uh, pulse motor. Now, the way this is built, it uses uh, Portland cement. This is what they call quickcrete. Uh, it's a mortar mix, and uh, it's pure Portland cement. And then I've doped up the mixture with California beach sand that I got right below the high water mark at the local beach. And uh, this is beach sand, Pacific Ocean, Southern California. And I did that on purpose. I wanted some of the ocean water still to be in that. And then all these minerals that get washed up at the high water mark, I wanted that in the sand. And it produced a real good battery. Like I said, it's a volt and a quarter, and it's running this pulse motor really, really well. And uh, I'll stop it. You see it running. Whoop. get it going again and you can probably see that blink now as that coil fired on and off anyway this uh, this battery here is a learning tool for me to understand what's going on with a crystal battery and we'll see what happens as this dries out and see what my voltage is on this but anyway I call this a cement battery if you go to YouTube, you'll find a bunch of these uh, built up by different guys. And one guy uses tea light, uh, aluminum tea light cans with a copper pipe in here. And I believe all that we have here is galvanic action. But when this dries out, if there's still voltage on this, that's what will be interesting. And that could take months before all the moisture is gone out of this. Anyway, in the meantime, I've got a fun little battery. And... Uh, I'm enjoying. <laughs> anyway, thanks, John Bedini, for sharing uh, the crystal battery with us. I've got a lot to learn on that project, but this is a stepping stone. Thanks for watching.